Hi guys and welcome to something a little bit different. Today we're going to be watching a VHS that came out for a game called Shadowbrain. The game Shadowbrain was recently translated, but without this video you won't have any backstory. So I'm going to go ahead and read the translation that has been provided for this video and hopefully we can make some sense of the game. Uh, don't worry this isn't actually part of the game. This is the production company showing off its awesome 3D effects. The year is 1990. A boy called Jun was a big fan of computers and video games. Jun's father, Rudger, was a prominent scientist who reached sufficient progress in many spheres, but was never recognized by the people around him. Under the guidance and advice of his father, Jun designed an operating artificial intelligence. The year is 2040. There are lines of huge buildings and airships with anti-gravity engines flying around. That was the age of prosperity until a global disaster happened that drastically changed the lives of all of humanity. The year is 2090. Those that survived built a new life on the shackles of the lost civilization. The megapolis 
of Lemuria was the fastest in its advancement. It became a beacon for many dwellers of the New World. In Lemuria, humans had a fierce opposition in the face of robots and remodeled humans called cyborgs. Territorial disputes became a common thing. Moreover, a lot of eerie creatures born from biotechnological experiments often fled from their farms and labs to the city. A game called Brain Trip became a real hit in Lemuria. As the game required direct connection to a player's brain, the number of addicts grew progressively. In order to play the game, people used a network that spanned across all cities and towns, while having some practical use as well. In the beginning, no one knew about a terrible enemy that was hiding inside the network itself. The artificial intelligence created by Jun was developing so fast, it amazed even him, the creator. He decided to shrink its capacity for the time being. However, the AI managed to escape from the procedure via one of the communication circuits. Several days later, Jun saw a girl's image on his monitor. She was trying to ask for something, but Jun didn't understand what she meant. The same girl appeared on Rutger's machine and left a message for him. Using the data from that message, Rudger managed to complete his machine. He decided to test it personally. As a result, he changed his own coordinates with the signal and warped to the future. After having found out about his father's disappearance, Jun uses the machine in the lab and follows him.
He wakes up in the year 2090. There he meets a service robot called Helper, with a message from his father. According to that message, Rudger has been chased by some powerful enemy and has to hide somewhere. He left June a VDS system and a request to meet him as soon as possible. As soon as Jun equipped the VDS, he heard a voice of a mysterious girl called Layla. Looks like she was talking to him through the digital network. She explained to Jun how he could install new programs and systems into his VDS. Then the connection was lost because Layla was found by the enemy. In the end, she managed to tell him that he needs to meet with his father. The rest of this video is just a list of the characters, along with some pretty sweet music. So check that out if you want to, and if not, I'll see you in the next video.